guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming a very exciting swatch video. This is hot off the press. I just came home and saw this box sitting in my mailbox, so I couldn't be more excited about opening this. I'm just trying to locate a scissor, which we did. So very, very exciting times. Let's go ahead and get this open and let's get to swatching. So you guys, I had talked about this palette in a Will I Buy It video and I had said that I was maybe gonna wait until it came to Ulta, but the more I stared at this palette, I really, really wanted to get my hands on it as soon as it came out. Plus I had never ordered from Dominique Cosmetics before, so I just wanted to show you how it comes packaged. It's a very simple brown box. Inside here, there is her logo. You also get a you know, receipt, which is nice and handy to have. And then it is nicely bubble wrapped, so that's good, because you don't want it to be destroyed in shipping. They do allow you to, you know, call in a return if it is damaged in shipping, which is nice, but you can't return it if you don't like the palette. This is a little card, and it says, thank you for supporting Dominique Cosmetics. We hope you enjoy your purchase. All of our products are created with our love for color and quality. We would love to hear from you and see all your creativity, Dominique Cosmetics. So this is really cute. I do think that out of all the YouTubers that have their own brand, she seems like the most down to earth. So I thought, you know what, let me go ahead and support her. I like the little gold sticker here. It's actually rose gold, so very, very cute. And then this is the outer packaging. It's a beautiful gold packaging and it is textured. I really like this. It's not over the top on the back here. It says it's distributed by Kristen Dominique, made in the USA. It has like all her handles. It says it has a 12 month shelf life. It's got all the ingredients on the back as well as the shade name. So this is a really cute sleeve. I do like it when companies don't do boxes because it's just easier. So this is what the packaging looks like. Now I did just do a swatch party video of the Flamingo palette by Violet Voss and I also am now comparing these two because look at the shades. They just look so like summery and beautiful. I do think this is a little bit more classier. I don't like Violet Voss's packaging. They always make it look a little bit tacky somehow, but this is beautiful. She did a really good job. I'm actually contemplating because you guys, did you get that Ulta 20% off coupon? I'm planning on getting her latte palette because I figured I can get it for 20% off. So there is a nice big mirror in here. And then these are the 10 shades. I just think she puts a lot of thought. I do like that they are uniformed. I think that's cool because, I don't know, I just like it when all my palettes are like the same size. And I think that's cool that she did that. Also, her pans are huge. They are bigger than like a quarter, I would say. Um, because online, when you see people like reviewing palettes, sometimes you can't tell how big the shadows are. But they really are, they look very generous. And on the back here, it does say there are 1.4 grams per each pan. So that seems like a decent amount. So I'm gonna stop blabbering and I'm gonna get to swatching because I'm so excited for this palette. So there is the first shade and let me just get all of these colors on my fingers here. I did watch her video where she kind of talked about the palette and I know a lot of people were saying that the colors didn't really scream lemonade, but after watching her video, I was like more open to giving it a try. These are not swatching as well as I thought. So let me just try and, you know, build it up a little bit so at least you can see the shades. I don't know if it's because I already swatched a palette on my hand. I had already swatched the Violet Moss palette previously, so I don't know if there's like residue. But here are the first row. So we have, we have Lemon Soda, which is a beautiful, like shimmery yellow shade. Then we have Pink Lemonade, which is that, you know, golden pink shade. We have Nude tea which is just like a brow bone highlight for most people and then we have peach which is a beautiful peach golden shade and then we have cucumber which is a beautiful like silvery green shade I do actually really appreciate the shades once she kind of explained it I think it did really go well with the theme I know a lot of us were kind of wishing for more vibrant matte shades but when you hear the names and you kind of hear the inspiration it really kind of makes sense to me so I'm so excited to actually test these on my eyeballs. So here I have Mango, pretty, and then I have Sweet Tea, and we have Chai Tea, which is a beautiful, like, chocolatey brown color. I don't know, it's not like that standard brown. It has more like a actual, like, creaminess to it. <laughs> 
if that makes any sense at all to you guys. And then the last two shades are Strawberry and we have Blueberry Fizz. So she put in like a true shimmery pink and a beautiful like shimmery purple because you would think like pink lemonade and strawberry would be similar. Uh, but they aren't. They're, they're different. One's a true pink shimmer and then pink lemonade is a duochrome with like a gold shift. So I don't know. The swatches aren't that impressive but I have a feeling these are going to do really well on the eyes. So as always stay tuned. I'm going to have a review up. It's going to take me a while. I bought four summer launches. I have the Flamingo palette, the Summer Vibes palette, the Lemonade palette as well as the Jeffree Star Thirsty palette. So it is going to take me a while, but I hope you enjoy the swatches and hopefully this helped you a little bit in case you're at least trying to figure out if these shades are going to be suitable with your skin tone. You guys know I'm Sri Lankan, so I have pretty tan skin. I'm actually pretty tan right now just from the summer and being outside. So yeah, I like to make swatch party videos for you guys so you can get some kind of idea of what these might look like on your skin. Overall, I think this palette is beautiful. I think this is made for a 30 year old in mind because I'm almost 30. I'm 29 right now and I think a lot of makeup launches you know we look at and we're like is this really like who asked for this? This looks so immature. I feel like with this one she's targeting more of that like classy mature like vibes and I think it's perfect. So all of that is a plus for me and I will report back on the formula soon so don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I will catch you in the next one. Bye guys!